Welcome to Tech Brothers Dama. In this video, we are going to learn how to load multiple Excel files with single sheet. In this case, as you can see that the sheet name is the same, so it is sheet one. So you can have maybe total sale or same, whatever the sheet name you have, but it has to be the same sheet name. The files, uh, they have different uh, names. Uh, so maybe you are getting a different file, like uh, maybe total sale underscore Asia, total sale underscore Europe, or total sale underscore date time. Uh, so in this scenario, what you are doing, uh, you are getting multiple uh, Excel files, uh, but the sheet name has to be the same. That's what we are gonna do uh, in the data flow task uh, or uh, activity in the Azure Data Factory. So let's go ahead and take a look here. First of all, uh, I have this, uh, blob storage on my uh, Azure blob storage and here is the container and uh, let's go to the input container here and we are going to go uh, upload a few files uh. so let's go to the upload here and uh, then uh, uh, we are going to click uh, navigate to those files and here are uh, total sale Asia total sale North America and total sale Europe files are I can open and show you one of the file how they look like uh. So all of them, all these three files are going to have same name of the sheet. It's called sheet one. It has the ID, sale person, first name, last name, product name, item sold, price sold, date, and then city, state, and region. So these are the column it will have. So we can just close this. And now what we can do, we can select these files and upload to the blob storage. Upload. Now the file has been uploaded to the blob storage and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to load these files to the uh, SQL table. Um, let's uh, open SSMS uh, and uh, here uh, in the tech browser's ITDB, we are going to create this table called the uh, total sale. So you, I had dropped this table and uh, just creating a new one for you so you can see the definition. Uh, we have ID, sale person, first name, last name, product name, and all those other columns exactly the same way what we have in the file. Also, I have added one more column to it called the file name. Because we are loading multiple files, I would like to know which data is coming from which file. Let's create this table, and we have created this table, and select the data, and as of now, there should be no data in this table at all. Let's go back to our Azure Data Factory here, and now we are going to go to the data flows and here a new data flow. I have created the, the same type of scenario with the copy activity. The goal uh, to uh, load the files in the data flow is um, sometimes you need to use multiple transformation. Maybe you want to do uh, remove the duplicate records or maybe you want to add new columns and all that. Uh, that's not possible in copy activity. That's why I'm using a data flow here. So you can read the file, then add other transformations, and then finally load the data to the destination. So let's call it the data Excel, DF Excel. And now we will add source here, and we will go to the data set, hit new, and Azure Blob Storage. We are going to create a link service to the Azure Blob Storage, and we will be using source as Excel, hit Excel. And now we will be creating new link service. Here I will be providing my subscription and then my account, that's my storage account, and then create Azure Blob Storage 5 is the link service name. Now let me navigate to the input folder and here uh, or container and I'm going to select uh, one file. Uh, and then uh, what I'm telling here, uh, use the worksheet mode. Uh, so I'm telling you to use the name. Uh, here I could have used index, uh, but uh, we are going to leave this one index for the next demo where you have um, different file names, sorry, sheet names, and uh, you would like to load the very first or very second uh, sheet uh, from each of the tab. Uh, or Excel file. That's where we will use index. As of now, in this scenario, our name is perfect because each file has the sheet one. So we don't have to worry about like because each Excel file has sheet one. So we will be fine to load the data. But in case our sheet names will be different, then we will be using index. But it will with the index, you will be only reading one sheet from the file because we have multiple files. We'll go for the index later, but right now we know that the sheet one is the same sheet name in all three files. So we will go row, uh, first row as header, yes, and then read uh, the schema, import schema, that's fine. Our data set is ready. Now what we need to do here, we need to go to the source here, and uh, I am going to add one more column. Uh, column to store file name. I'm going to call this one file name, and uh, this will uh, save our file name, and then we will uh, map this to the destination. We already have created the 
uh, column called file name in our destination table. Um, let's click on plus sign here. Um, before we click on plus sign, you can always go to the data preview, refresh, and it will get you the data from the source. Uh, so you can see the data is uh, extracted from the Asia uh, file and uh, that's uh, total Asia. Uh, to sorry total sale underscore asia that's where our file name is and this is the data coming from our file uh, this looks good we are going to add a destination here and i'm going to call it a sync uh, now we will go and uh, add a data set here and uh, we will say azure sql and uh, now we'll go to the continue and create a new link service uh, here i'm going to navigate to the subscription server name database name and then provide a username and password. Okay, our link service uh, is created uh, for our Azure SQL database. Um, now we are going to select the table here and uh, that's going to be our total sale. Uh, now let uh, the import schema as it is and hit OK. Now we should do, uh, be all good. Uh, here uh, what uh, I have done uh, in the source uh, as of now if you notice that I went to the source settings and uh, we created the data set. That's the only thing we did it here. Now in the source options, uh, we added the file name. As of now, you can see that I did not tell uh, use the wildcard path here. So it means that we are only pointing to this single file. And that is fine. Let's load this one first and then we'll come back and make changes to load multiple files. Let's go to the pipeline here, add a new pipeline. And then uh, we will drag our data flow X DFXL. Sorry, uh, that's our DFXL. Uh, go to the second, and the uh, DFXL has to be bring here. Hit debug, and it should load uh, our Excel file for uh, that's a uh, total sale underscore Asia. That's the only file it should load uh, as of now. Our data flow and pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, first of all, we are going to take a look here on the details and we can click right there it read four rows and then has written four rows looks good let's go back to the other pipeline and now we will go to the our table and select the data as you can see that it has loaded all the records from total sale asia file and that's the file name now let's go back and make some changes because we would like to load the multiple files now here I'm going to go to the DF Excel, that's our data flow Excel. And uh, first of all, uh, what I will be doing here, I will be going to settings and uh, then uh, uh, actually go to source here. And then here we will say asterisk dot XLSX. Okay, so it means that we are telling all the files or whatever uh, are available in, in the input container, load all of them. One more thing on the destination side I would like to do is uh, I would like to truncate the table. So trunk your table before loading the data. Now we are all good here. Go back to the other uh, pipeline and let's uh, debug again. This time it should uh, trunk the table first uh, and uh, then uh, load the data from uh, multiple files. Okay, our data flow and pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look in the table. Uh, so I'm going to go and execute uh, and select start from uh, DBO total sale. And uh, now you can see that uh, the data has uh, been loaded from three different files um, total sale in north america total sale europe and uh, total sale asia so this is how you will load the uh, multiple excel files uh, with the single sheet uh, which has the same name um, uh, so uh, they, there are some limitation uh, and uh, uh, I'm going to work on those one as well for you to create the demos uh, because sometimes you have multiple sheet names uh, and uh, you would like to load them uh, dynamically. That's still uh, we have to work it out. Um, I have other video where we loaded multiple uh, uh, files uh, with multiple sheets uh, dynamically in the copy activity. But there was uh, some problem. We could not read the list of those uh, sheet names dynamically. We had to save it into the parameter and uh, then just loop through those. Uh, We'll work uh, on those uh, scenarios as well. Um, for, for as of now, you know that uh, how to load uh, multiple Excel files uh, which has a single sheet uh, and same name. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video.